The recent violence has not only affected the stability of Hong Kong, but also violates the law. Our reporter, Chu Dan, interviewed a local barrister. He explained what constitutes a crime. We're seeing an escalation of violence during the protests. Some protesters even charged police stations, um, vandalized vehicles, and even set fire in different places. Tell us the consequences they will face. Well, those are rioters, and they are participated in an unlawful assembly. And by damaging properties, they would be liable to be charged under Section 21 of the Public Order Ordinance. And then someone who unlawfully damaged properties in a riot will be liable for imprisonment for 10 years in Hong Kong. Um, if they set fires to a substance and cause, uh, in, in common law terms, we call it arsons, someone who arsoned the property would be liable for imprisonment for life. Some protesters were spotted climbing the flagstaff to remove the Chinese flag, which they flung into the sea and they then left the scene. What does this mean? Um, tell us what are the penalties? Well, under the National Flag and National Emblem Ordinance, someone who desecrates the national flag by publicly and willfully burning, mutilating, scrawling on, defiling or trampling on, committed an offence. And the maximum penalty is three years of imprisonment in Hong Kong. Hong Kong police, long priding themselves on being Asia's finest, given the city's international reputation for the public safety and order, and, but now the officers are frustrated and under emotional stress due to the long hours as well as physical and verbal attacks. Um, how do you think of the police handling of the situation? Well, the police is actually at a turmoil because Hong Kong police are one of the finest in Asia. They uphold the law and Hong Kong is one of the safest city in the world and probably if the, the most safest city in Asia. So in that regard, Hong Kong police are under, difficult, under severe difficulty and tr uh, tremendous stress in upkeeping the laws and protecting the public uh, for public safety and public order. Um, they are under a lot of pressure. The families are being victimized. They are being attacked physically. Some of them suffer a serious injury. Um, some in, in the past uh, fingers got mutilated in, in one incident in Satin. And yesterday, um, there has been protests in these months for uh, particularly at night, and police were really exhausted by handling these public order events. And we're seeing clear chains of command and supply to the protesters here. Um, what is behind that? I think this is part and parcel of a color revolution where there are foreign and external forces combined with internal subversive forces to overthrow the administration, to overthrow the governance of our Hong Kong executive government. And of course, the further step they will take is to affect the entire mainland China.